What's up guys, it's silver 2 k and uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, Forza live stream that just happened, announcing that there's going to be a track editor that comes out tomorrow from the day that this is recorded. Uh, the track editor update did look really cool, they showed gameplay of it and stuff, um, but at the same time there were some things that kind of annoyed me, and I'll get into those. I guess I'm going to start with some of the things that I wish were done differently. Um, the first one is multiplayer because the track editor, you're going to be making tracks for people that they could only run solo. So instead of having a race with your friends where you set up this crazy obstacle course, you save it and then other people could play on it, but they can't have other people in their game with them. So it's basically just a time trial or whatever for whatever event they're doing. Like you can't play online with other people, which kind of annoys me because I'm in a tandem team and if say I'm looking at crates right now, if I wanted to add like ramps and stuff so I could get on top of these crates and make new sections or whatever, I can't I can't do that because I have no one to tandem with. I can't drift with my friends and do it at the same time, which really is pretty annoying. I wish they made it like the GTA track editor where you could just do online events with people, but yeah, I mean, I guess we get what we get. Uh, what did this guy just say? Devs need to stop listening to these YouTubers and want to add to the game list to the community for once and add weather slash traffic options for custom lobbies we want to We want more customization and more JDM cars. I mean, that's true. 9% of voice fans want this. Yeah. And then you will be challenged. You don't be speak for everyone. Challenges. We don't need JDM. All right. You yet. just you hurt my feelings. You can see them. Um, and you can get an awesome we need a JZX100, JZX90. We need the soar uh, back. And, and, and. The main thing that I have a problem with is uh, the PR stunts. Because in the track editor, they don't let you make your own PR stunts. It looks like you can only use the PR stunts that are already on the map. So if I wanted to go down a random road, and make my own drift zone on that random road, I can't. I have to use like drift zones like this, or this, or this, or this. Like, I can't I can't make a drift zone, say, on this road, all through all of this. I can't do that. Which, I really wish I could, to be honest. Because I would have so much more content to make for you guys. Like, imagine if I can make a drift zone right here with like walls on the side and stuff so you couldn't cut corners or whatever. But, I mean, again, I, I guess we get what we get. Um, Basically, for the people who are just going to be making tracks and stuff uh, for people to drive on, they're going to have a blast. It's going to be really fun for them. But for people that want to make like drift zones or speed traps or something, this whole update's basically a make your own PR stunt system, but without actually making your own PR stunt. You just add obstacles. So, I don't know. It, it's kind of cool. Kind of wish they did. Uh, kind of wish they actually made it so you legitimately make your own PR stunt, but. I mean, I guess you can't have everything. But one of the positive things, though, that comes from that is, say, if I wanted to switch this drift zone up, like, you start right here, you go through it, whatever, I could I could make obstacles. So instead of just doing this drift zone, I could have, like, a wall on one of the lanes. So you have to be in a certain lane to complete the drift zone or whatever. I could form walls on the side of it so you can't like drop tires at all. Like I can make this drift zone much harder. I could add a jump or whatever. I could add a jump entry or something. Honestly, th that's pretty cool. Another thing is the fact that whatever car you use for the drift zone, like if say if I wanted um, everyone to use like a 240SX, everybody that does the drift zone has to use the same 240SX that I like used to make it. They have to use the exact same tune, exact same livery, literally the exact same car. I could choose cars that only have like 200 horsepower if they're front wheel drive or something. Cars that are super hard to drift. I can make challenges for you guys to see who could score the most amount of points and see if you guys could beat me because <laughs> I, I don't know about you but I don't drift front wheel drive or anything. So that's really cool. The fact that we could use non-meta cars and I, I don't have to use drag tires to make like challenges for you guys that's really cool because it'll make everything more challenging you guys already know there's gonna be some modders or something that have like like horizon festival bus and all like the tractor like the the tractor that all the ai drive around you already know that they're gonna make events like with using those vehicles and uh Everyone in the community is just going to start using them in these events, and then everyone's going to get banned. You already know that's going to happen. I'm almost positive that this is what we're going to get, and there's not going to be any changes to it, because as you know, things like the Eliminator or 
Drift Adventure have been in the game for... Those events have been in the game for, like... Well, Drift Adventure has been, like, two years. Eliminator has been, like, a year already, I think. And nothing's ever been done to it. Like, there's glitches, there's all this stuff. They haven't added any new tracks for Drift Adventure, whatever. So I think whatever we get, we get, pretty much. As sad as I am to say it, like, this is probably going to be the last thing that we get until the next Forza. And I just hope that it provides, like, enough entertainment for me to actually play this game a little bit more. Because I... I'm sure you guys have noticed, but I've stopped playing it quite a lot, so I guess we will see. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the new update that's coming. I try to stay unbiased, because as you know, like a lot of these Forza YouTubers, they're kind of hype men. Um, I'm just being real with you guys. I'm giving you my exact thoughts. I'm not being biased, because I am i don't work for Forza or anything. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope that this update keeps me entertained, keeps you guys entertained. Uh, anything to keep the game alive at this point is good, because we're all just waiting for the next Forza, to be honest. So, yeah, hopefully it's uh, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. I, I feel like I will have fun. Uh, it's just a matter of how long I'll have fun on it. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.